right, morning, quick video. Uh, USD CAD we're doing. Uh, at this time here, price was in the middle, um, and USD was way out. Uh, we've come down, bounced, come back. What we're looking for is it to get stuck beneath some of these and start rolling like that. And that will equivalent, equivalent, be the equivalent to um, something like this and, and, and then up here. Um, we'll see what happens with this. The longer term, it's not really, uh, it's, it's got room. Um, down here on the dollar on its own, we are not seeing, um, we're just seeing everything's down, but USD CAD's revealing the truth. Uh, what would fuel this? Uh, because this is CAD USD, right? That's why we're buying USD CAD. This is the CAD index, and this is the USD index. Um, what would really fuel this is if we had a USD, uh, any one of them, doesn't matter, come super below while these go sideways. And then that will help this roll around. That's what I'm looking for for now. Uh, and then we're looking for the long term pound yen short. So that will mean we're going to have to see this here. And same uh, or here on the yens. Something. Uh, and we're looking. So either euro yen or euro uh, or pound yen or both. Whatever. They're just going to take a while. Uh, and then I think we, we did the euro pound last night. We did it. There was a little Aussie New Zealand. I said I'm not going to waste too much time on it because it was just very short term. That went up. We got we got our we got our profits, uh, and uh, and that was that. But I didn't want to make a video. It's too small. Um, but I did mention what else is there? Uh, uh, euro pound. One second. See how we're making out on that. Right, good. Okay, as we expected, you see. Now, another thing that's interesting with this, we got this, I don't know where it was last night, here or here, but remember, long term, so stop was way out of the way. Um, that's right, we try to come somewhere in the middle here. Uh, that would. Now that brings me on to something here, uh, sentiment. Yeah, euro pound sentiment is here. Yeah, look, everyone's long, right? So chance of this going up is not good, but hey, everything else is telling us it's going to turn. So then these numbers are going to change. Uh, they are wrong on their shorts and wrong on their buys. So the buy is 85.72. Yeah, so that will be our, our 85.72, somewhere in here, that will be our target for now. But we can change that because everything, this is all dynamic. Maybe we can change, we'll change it down to there or we'll increase it. We'll have to see what happens with the time we get closer. Uh, let's just put in the cell. That'll do. So that's it. We're looking to get out somewhere here. Um, next. Okay, what do we have here? We have in uh, 5.1 hours, we'll have to make a line. We're going to see Venus, Sextile, Jupiter. That will be positive. That will be good for 
the mood, you'll see people in a better mood than it has been the last few days. So um, we'll be le definitely looking to buy something. Um, a euro of some form would be nice because euro represents the collective the best because of the 26 nations it represents, whereas everything else represents just one, allegedly, or so we're told. Then in 1.8 days, this will all change all over again because the sun will give the power to Saturn, the government, uh, to make more rules and restrictions and start clamping down on us once again. Um, then when Mars goes into Scorpio, that will fuel it even more. So it's going to be pretty negative after this for, for a bit. Um, really, at least until April, it's going to go up and down. The end of April, <coughs> end of April, there'll, there'll be light at the end of the tunnel for the, for the smart folks who are waiting, who have hung on, if you know what I mean. Uh, anyway, that's that for now. I'll make another video later. Cheers.